Hey guys, welcome back to part three of the Pray Tell uh, mission in the Sherlock Holmes adventure we are doing. And yeah, we're going to get straight back into it and we can continue. And this is right where we left off. Still following the guy in charge of the special job. So where is he off to? Where, where are we? Where are we now? Interesting. What's going on in the yard? What's going on in the yard? Well, let's go have a little peek. Oh, I've locked. Oh, we can climb over. Okay, well, I'm thinking this is going to be locked. Oh, it's not. Okay, we're going to search through his house. Oi, oi. Oh, what's that? Oh, a coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. <laughs> You're good at drawing, mate, because there's no way I'll be able to draw that. No way. Yep, can't draw, guys. I really can't draw. Although, you know, once I had an art teacher said there's no such thing wow. as someone that can't draw. A lot of expensive so, stuff. you know, apparently we all can draw. Okay, nothing there. Oh, hang on. We're good. Can we get in? It's too dangerous. Oh, it's to too dangerous to enter. Okay. Fair enough. Good point, mate. Good point. Can we go up the ladder? No. Okay. I can't see what's inside. What's? Hang on. I thought we went past. I think. Okay, so we're back round the front. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. It's gonna be too dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. It's too dangerous to enter. There he is. Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. Potatoes. Bags of food. I like this ass. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Good idea, mate. Let's get back over the wall. I was going to say, do we have to run all the way back to him, or is it going to just cut? Well, not really cut him, but you know, load us back there. And it is loading us back there. Okay, here we go. Wiggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Examine the item brought by Wiggins, okay. Wiggins did a good job. But what's it mean? We need to help poor Tom. I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but they've got a dog barking in the background. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. My analysis. Examine the item brought in by Wiggins. Yeah, it's here. But how do we examine it? I guys, I don't know how to examine it. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Brave Toby. Best. It was here. We picked it up, and now we can't examine it. Oh wait, hang on. Do we? Ah.
Here we go. Draw a coat in arms. The draw a coat in arms was made by Wiggins. Newspapers, encyclopedias. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm not really sure what we need to click on. Newspapers, we've got research. Um, uh, badges and medals. That's not the one I need. That's I don't know, I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know what it is. English coat of arms. The coat of arms of the Marsh Valley. No days for a sense of this. Oh. It's Lord Edward's Marsh, the well known benefactor, who provides the poor people of White Chapel with provisions, warm clothes, and. Resides at 3 Mainsbury Road, London. Okay. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Sounds like a good plan, mate. Who's this? Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Young lady? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? I don't think we should tell her. We'll see. If you behave. All right, then. Have no, fun. I don't think we shouldn't tell I'll her. Go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? Okay, pay a visit to Lord Marsh. It's wonderful to have Kate home. Marsh's house, let's go. I like that you can, you know, fast travel. Open casebook. Don't need to. It's all solved. So far, anyway. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. 
Wait, so that guy that I was that we were following, he knows him? That's interesting. Uh, come in, please. Thank you. Where is he? Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Ah, uh, we're gonna examine what he think what he's thinking. Red eyes, feels unwell. I think it's lack of sleep. Oh, it's just in there, it feels unwell actually. No, I think he's unwell. Okay. Oh, he's got a ring. Man of wealth. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, back. Is that vegetable painkiller? Yeah, he is unwell. Okay. Oh, forwards. Oh, what's this? Notebook. Lord's Marshal's personal assistant cooking recipe. No, definitely is a assistant. Oh, oh, what's that symbol? Member of a hunting club. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Telescope. Definitely unwell. Not telescope. Stethoscope. That's it. Oh, we've missed something. We have missed something and I don't know what it is. Oh, the blanket. He's hiding something, he's ill. No, he's definitely ill. Yeah. Okay. I think them bits where it said, uh, oh, what's this we got here? Oh. Is that open, did it say? Yeah. No, I think on on the uh, when you do the character profile, the little uh, the little uh, like little arrow symbols. I think that means you can pick either one, and that changes the story. I think. That's my I guess, hope anyway. We're not disturbing you. You are with your physician. Yes, this is Doctor Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mister Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London. Uh, yes, it is a war that we must fight on our streets and now too from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance. I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. I recognize your face, Marsh's disease. Let's go for this one. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only oh, influenza. I should press square to see what happens. I'll be Next time that comes out, we're going to press square and change I can it. I feel it already. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? 
Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? Oh, wait, hang on. May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Is there something else that interests you? Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Okay, so we're just going to look around now. Okay, that's, that's nothing. Oh, what's this? A quarterman club. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah. Uh. My dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord There must Harrington. be some evidence we can find. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. Yeah, some evidence we can find about, uh... Last year, three this special job. were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Okay. So that's everything on the table. London Hospital. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. Oh, he helps hospitals. That is very good of him. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Oh. Oi, oi. What's this? Dear Lord March, here is the list of selected participants for the Special Education Program October. It looks to be a very positive event. I'm looking forward to it. Oi, oi. John Stalbridge. John Strobridge, I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. So maybe he's not missing after all. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Hello, what's this triangle? Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction red color signifies an untubal clue combination.
Right, okay, so special education program. Missing. Bond participation for the special education program is missing. Not connected. The special job mentioned by George Hurst is not connected with the special education program. George Hurst's special job and Lord Marshall's special education program are somehow connected. Let's confirm that. All right. Wait. Do you reckon they're not connected, or they are connected? I don't know, guys. I don't think they are connected. I don't think they are going not connected. Okay, that's not going. Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red Clive signifies an unduable clue combination. Okay, so none of these are connectable. Okay, so maybe they maybe it's got a connection. So what's that mean? So I think they're connected, so... Okay, so let's, let's exit that then, so none of them actually relate to each other. Oh, so that triangle is meant to be one in relation to each other then. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Okay, oh, what's here? so many provisions for the poor, and certainly not in a Lord's house. We've missed something. It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. Bags full of food. What's his letter? Aid for the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. Okay. This one? Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Boys orphanage. It's extremely honourable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Locked. Hang on, let's have a look at what we're meant to be doing. Play visit to Lord's Marsh. Okay, so we're done, are we? I'm intrigued by the special. I'm gratified by your interest in my charity. You're the first who has offered to help. Okay, I think we're all done here. I think we're all done. Let's walk outside and see if anything happens. Oh yeah, we don't know where to go. Where are we... 
Best get this into Torn's father. Let's see if there's anything around the sides quickly. We'll just see this bit and then we're going to end this episode, guys, because it's getting on a little bit. Oh, it's getting them all about the same length. So, uh. Okay, we still can't go up that ladder. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm not really sure where we're meant to go now. But, whatever happens, we will be off somewhere next. And, uh, continue on with this mission. Yeah, there's nothing else to uh I'm intrigued by the special education program. Yeah, it's nothing we've missed anyway, is there? No, we can't go upstairs cuz Yeah, that's in the way. Okay, yeah, that's all done. So we're going to have to head back somewhere and find out what else we can do. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.